day two. Um, one step, not two step, one step. Um, I've got to change the title, but it should say one step instead of two step. But that was a mistake. Now here, you always look, it says solve each equation. There's division, so this is basically saying that my answer is 125. And the R goes inside, and you have a negative, it's negative 2.3. What should that number be? The only way to find out is to multiply um, these two numbers together. So two point negative 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 two point three. So you need to multiply what you do to one side you must do to the other. Negative two point three. Cancels that out, leaves you R by itself. Use a calculator to find your answer. <coughs> so if you use a calculator, one two five times two point three you will get um, 287.5 as your answer for R. Um, negative, because a negative number, if you look at this, this is a negative times a positive times a positive that's here equals to a negative answer. Okay? Number two, to do this, in order to find what number you can multiply to, to get um, this answer, you have to divide by 9, divide by 9. So 1826, divide by 9. That gets you, because we need to make it a mixed number, we really can't, a calculator is not that useful. Bring down the 2. Now when you bring down a number, you need to bring down this side. 9 can't go in. You have to put a 0. 0 subtract. 2 bring down the 6. Now you bring down a number, you need to bring down the 9. 9 into 26 is 2 times. 18 subtract. That's a remainder of 8. Remainder of 8. So my answer then is 202. Remainder of 8 over the denominator of this 9 right here. That equals to, that cancels out, that equals to the letter M that we got. That's what M should be multiplied together to get this answer here. Okay? Um, it's positive because a positive and a positive is a positive. Um, <coughs> number 3. Same thing here. This is divide by, this is time, so you have to divide by negative 6. Divide by negative 6 because both of these are negatives. When you divide, if they're the same sign, the answer is positive. So let's divide by 6. That's 3, 18, 0. Bring down this 3. And bring down that number. You need to also bring down the number outside. Can't go in. You have to put a zero. Okay, zero goes here, and there's no more number to bring down, so my answer is remainder three. The answer is 30. Uh oh, wrong side. This side only leaves that letter N on this side. Your answer is 30, remainder three over the six here. Divide by 3 because we can reduce that. And that's your answer. Okay, number 4. Okay, you divide by a negative 5, divide by a negative 5. F equals 141, divide by negative 5. That's 2. 10 subtract 0, bring down the 4, 
5 can't go into 4, so 0 times, and 0 subtract 41. 5, when you bring down a number, you need to divide 8 times with a remainder of 1. So it's 108, I mean 208, excuse me. It's 208 with a remainder of 1. So the answer is 208 with a remainder of 1 over 5. Now because this is a negative and this is a positive, the answer is going to be a negative. <coughs> when the signs are different, when you're multiplying and dividing, it is a negative. Here, you add 34.8. Add 34.8. I'm going to put the bigger number on top. 812. Oh, not 12. So sorry. My goodness. Borrow. That's a 2. That's 8. 8.8 .8 is positive because the bigger number always takes the sign. That equals to the letter B. Number six. Okay, now, this is saying what number can divided by negative 5 will get you this negative 21.5. So the only way to solve it is to multiply these two. So you multiply them by the negative 5. P equals, now a negative and a negative this negative with this negative makes it a positive. So 21.5 times 5 is 107.5. My cursor. Okay, this one here. Under this side, we need minus 23, minus 23, smaller number goes at the bottom when you're adding or subtracting. Um, notice these are the same. When it's the same, when you add and subtract, your answer's a negative because a bigger number takes the sign. Let's x equals 2. Uh-oh. You don't subtract. That was wrong. Sorry. We need to add these because they're both negative. 6, 10, negative. What did I say? Ignore what I say earlier. Same sign we add. Different sign we subtract. And that x equals to that. Last one. Okay, this is division. So the opposite of divide is multiply to find our answer by 5. And a positive times a positive is a positive. So 2.24.4 oh, times 5 is equal to 122 equals 2t. That's all the answers for today's homework.